So I've just come to my car and I've got some, it looks like a cat's been on my car and just made it all dirty again after I washed it yesterday. So that's great, that's a good start to the day. Okay lads, welcome to another video on the channel. Today I've got my new brakes, I've literally just got them in the post. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through what I'm going to be doing. Basically, for the standing stand size, they're Bosch. I didn't, couldn't really find anything that I wanted, so I went ahead and go, gone with the um, the sort of standard look. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to be doing is with this centre hub on the standard ones, they start to rust over time. So I've gone ahead. I've got some spray paint, uh, which is heat proof, as well as some masking tape. And I'm going ahead. I'm going to mask all this up, spray the centre hub, just because I don't want any new any rust on my new discs and anything like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and walk you through me fitting these on the car. So I've also got the brake pads as well, new brake pads. Um, I know my brakes that I have on the car now are Mintex, but I just find that the Mintex aren't as good as everyone thinks they are. And in the past have like um, overheated and started failing and everything. So I thought I'd just go ahead and try and go back to the standard look and uh, see how we go. Okay, sweet. So I've got both brake pads all taped up. Now, if, if I have any uh, paint on the actual disc itself, it'll be alright because the brake pad will just wipe it off when I put them on the car. But yeah, hopefully this comes out alright. Um, it says high heat, it's sort of like a matte black finish, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so we're going ahead and get the wheels off. I haven't got an impact gun, so I'll just do this by hand. I'm trying to do this quite fast before the uh, before it goes night time, because it's about five o'clock now in the UK, so it uh, goes dark quite quickly. I want to know your secrets I want to be your lifeline So I wait for you, wait for me Wait for you, wait for me Tell me you're more than just a Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just open up the brake fluid reservoir so we don't have any pressure go up in here There you go, it doesn't have to be all the way off a little gap there Okay, so I've gone ahead and turned the, uh, pulled the handbrake off, so now it's just a matter of fact when I'm doing these rear bolts. Right, so uh, make sure you uh, go the right way, otherwise you end up doing it up. <laughs> what a twat. <coughs> Okay, let's see. I've got it. Cool. So these pads have still got quite a lot of life on them. It's just I noticed over a while that they um, can overheat over some um, basically aggressive driving. So I'm going to go ahead and change these out. There we go. 
cool. You can see it's got some scoring marks. Not sure whether they're just from the brake pad or it's probably having a stone or two stuck in the caliper. A bit of copper grease. Cool. Best friend is definitely copper grease. That is on. Okay, so I've gone ahead, I've tightened up the nuts. Now um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Get the back ones off. There we go, caliper off. So if you can, just try and balance it up. So it's got no weight on the... Um, on the brake line, pick your old pads out. So that's just resting there. Take the disc off. Okay. A bit of copper grease on the hub. Cool. I'll get a new disc on. Wind the piston back. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, where's my new pads? Right now. Cool. Alright guys, so I've just finished bleeding the brakes again. So yeah, there we go, that's my new brake setup. Um, especially, what it's called, Bosch. Bosch disc and pads. Um, so it's probably not far off the standard setup. But I just wanted to stick with these because I didn't like the Mintex disc and pads. I find they wasn't as, as good as they were standard. Uh, these are quite old, but you can see how rusty these have gotten. So they're not really um, ideal. So I'm pretty happy with this setup. I'll uh, go out, go for a drive, see how it goes. And hopefully I can see some good results. Okay, so I've just put the wheels on. And they look very nice. And I've also put the two grommets on this rear tail light as well. So now that's completely solid as they came in today as well. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take it for a drive and see how we go. Okay lads, so this is the next day and basically the brakes have been awesome. Um, there's so much more of a pedal, pedal response and I also feel like before I got these brakes the front of the car had more braking stopping power than it did with the back but now I can definitely feel a big difference between the back is definitely helping the car stop a lot more now with these Bosch brakes and yeah guys definitely I would not recommend getting Mintex they were the first brakes that I've had on this car and yeah they weren't amazing um, so they're basically just a budget sort of setup and now I'm, yeah I'm really happy with this sort of setup it's been a freaking difficult day because my window regulator has given up um, so I'm going to go ahead get the door card off um, I'm going to have to have a look at this 
Um, it basically, when I when it goes up and down, it just makes loads of crunching sounds. So I think I'm gonna have to get a new window regulator. So that's gonna be a couple of more bob. So uh, you know, this is one of them things, and it you can't really. Uh, it's just one of those things in life. But yeah, I'm really happy with these brakes. They are uh, all the um, it's, all the paints come off now where the uh, pads hit it, but. You can see the sensors are still black and it still looks pretty neat. So yeah, I'm happy with them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to just like, comment and subscribe. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.